All right, for us, we're going to take a look at the tropics because we could actually see something develop by next week. Chances are getting a little bit better. And in the meantime, Father's Day weekend, we're locking in that forecast for Saturday, Sunday. Outside tonight, skies are partly cloudy over Calaveras Lake. It's a pretty nice night. Let's take a look at what we're tracking on this Thursday. We had an ozone action day today. I don't think we're going to see much of a change tomorrow, but because the wind speeds are up, we will improve our air quality, so not too bad. All right, the tropical low, it is yet to develop, but if you look here, there's a 40% chance in the next five to seven days that we see a system develop in the Bay of Campeche and move north, northwest towards South Texas. Now, the early computer models are indicating that it would take a hard left turn into northern Mexico, south of Brownsville. Again, that's an early global model. So when we get some high res data over the weekend, beginning of next week, we're going to have a better lock on exactly where this system could be going. But this chance of it developing into a named storm is getting a little bit better, and it's definitely going to produce a named storm or not healthy rain on the Texas coast and hopefully up into our area as well. Speaking of some rain, a couple of light showers found East Bear County today, but most of anything measurable was down 281 south at Escosa County down to Three Rivers in Beeville. So zero on the rain gauge for today, but for the month, we're not looking too bad so far. We've got an inch and almost a quarter, 97 the high, so five above and only a few away from a 1998 record that stays in place. So we're going to be watching that very closely. Air quality, as I mentioned, I want to show you that it is moderate despite today's ozone action. Not bad at all. You can see good air quality at Austin, Victoria, Corpus Christi. All right, the high should start strengthening, flexing its muscle into the weekend. You know, one of the indications that the high is not that strong is when you see a lot of cloud cover. When we start seeing that cloud cover dissipate and we only see a few scattered areas of clouds or completely blue skies, we know the high is strong. Well, one thing's for sure, it's going to expect to see a good strengthening over the weekend, and that's going to boost temperatures that are still in the 90s for some of you out there tonight. We've got Lackland at 90 and Pleasanton 89, where it still feels like 95, close to 100 down I-35, and it still feels like 93 outside tonight in San Antonio. Here's the problem. The dew points aren't going anywhere. So we're going to definitely stay tropical on what the air is going to feel like. Pay very close attention to the signals your body will give you that it needs some rest and it needs some AC and it needs some H2O. Plus, please remember Project Cool, one of the most important Ken's Cares initiatives we do here. This is when you bring a box fan to any San Antonio fire station, a new one. 20 or $25 could save a life. If you think someone needs a fan, check on your neighbors. Call the United Way helpline at 211. And if you're an elderly citizen at 60 plus and you need a fan, go to the Guadalupe Community Center between 830 and 5 p.m. All right, seven day forecast time. We're looking at temperatures climbing to about 97 to 98 by Sunday. Father's Day is going to be the hottest day on this seven day forecast. 10% chance begins on Tuesday with tropical rains that could affect us by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Nate Ryan horns out. How great would a Father's Day? How great of a Father's Day gift would a Brahma's W? That's what I'm saying. Sunday. And that trophy stays here. Are you going to the game up in St. Louis? I've got it. I'm thinking about it. Thank you. Thinking about full of the.